Hi, welcome back to Dr. O'Donovan, Medicine Made Easy. In today's video, you're going to be hearing sounds of aortic stenosis, such as these. But before you hear the sounds in detail, it's important that we cover what aortic stenosis is, who is at risk of developing it, as well as symptoms and signs. You'll then listen to some sounds of aortic stenosis, and we can then discuss what investigations you might want to consider, as well as potential treatment options. So first of all, as way of a brief background, the aortic valve is located between the left ventricle and the aorta, which is one of the big vessels going off from the heart around the body. And it's one of the four valves in the heart. The normal aortic valve is composed of three thin cusps that project from the wall at the origin of the aorta. Aortic stenosis essentially refers to a tight valve, and it's because when you get the tight valve, you have impaired blood flow going through this, which leads to the murmur or added sound. So who gets aortic stenosis? Well, it's become one of the most frequent types of valvular heart disease, especially in Europe and North America. And it's estimated that around 5% of people aged 65 or over have an element of aortic stenosis. And this is typically due to a calcified aortic valve. This rises to around 10% in the over 80s. And people who have got a bicuspid aortic valve, i.e. people who have two valve leaflets instead of three, are also at risk of developing it. Symptoms of aortic stenosis usually include shortness of breath on exertion, angina, dizziness, or syncope. The classic triad of chest pain, heart failure, and syncope are usually found after the age of 50. And in children, the main presentation of aortic stenosis might be fatigue or tiredness. In terms of signs of aortic stenosis, well, examination of the pulse in significant aortic stenosis usually reveals a slow rising pulse. Blood pressure typically shows a narrow pulse pressure, so that's the difference between the systolic and the diastolic pressures. An examination of the cardiovascular system includes palpation of the cardiac apex, so this is usually down here. In aortic stenosis, as the ventricle hypertrophies because more force is needed to push out the blood, the apex can become displaced because the left ventricle, which is the big chamber of the heart, becomes larger. So let's go ahead and listen to some aortic stenosis murmurs. So now you've heard those murmurs, let's talk about what they're typically described as. Well, they're crescendo-decrescendo systolic ejection murmurs that occur shortly after the first heart sound and also end before the second heart sound. It's usually described as a low-pitched murmur located at the base of the heart and it's most commonly heard in the second right intercostal space. In terms of investigations, well, there are three main investigations to consider. The first is an echo, and that's the key diagnostic tool because it confirms the presence of AS. It can assess for the degree of valve calcification, left ventricular function and wall thickness, as well as the presence of other valve disease. And it can also include prognostic information. A Doppler echo is the preferred technique for assessing aortic stenosis severity. Other two investigations that might be useful in primary care include an ECG, where you may see left ventricular hypertrophy, as well as a chest X-ray, which may show cardiac enlargement or calcification of the aortic ring. However, the chest X-ray is often normal except in advanced disease. The ultimate treatment for aortic stenosis is aortic valve replacement. However, this will depend on the degree of stenosis and other factors. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it useful and learned something new. If you did, please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already for new videos every Wednesday and every Sunday. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and check out the description box of this video for more information on aortic stenosis. Thanks for watching and until next time, bye.